In this video, I'm going to share with you how to use one of the best route combinations in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they could possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you right now to click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies coming right here on the YouTube channel. All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing plays from the bunch tight end, and we're talking about the play tight end corner. Now, if you want to get my full gun bunch tight end offensive guide, I believe it's one of the most simple, but at the same time, most effective passing plays, or I'm sorry, passing offenses in Madden 21. This is one of the offenses that I love to go to for money games or for tournaments or when um, I really need to be able to move the ball. This offense is absolutely incredible to do just that. So if you want to get that full ebook, it is available for just $15 in the description of this video. Uh, but we're going to dive in here to tight end corner and basically how we're going to set this up. There's so many different variances and ways in which you can set up this passing concept. So there's not just a one size fits all, but what we're going to do is we are going to turn this into essentially a flood concept. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the square receiver and we're going to put him on a flat route. Um, and then from that point right there, all we're going to do from that point is we're going to take the X receiver and we are going to put him on a smart routed corner route. We're going to take that circle receiver. We're going to put him on a little streak right up the seam. And then we're going to take the R1 receiver. And what I like to do with him is I like to put him on a little in route, just like this little check down in route type of thing. And this is very similar to the passing concept flood. And you're gonna notice that if they're not playing hard flats, you are just going to take your quick flat all day long. One of the most underrated elements of the bunch tight end is its ability to stretch the field horizontally. Not very many people take advantage of the fact that this offense is very, very effective for stretching the defense horizontally. So if they're not playing hard flats, then you can um, obviously hit that route. Now, if they are playing hard flats, you see right here, obviously they're gonna be able to break that pass up. But what it's going to do is due to the fact that they're playing hard flats, you're gonna have a lot of space in which you can basically hit this triangle receiver. So you'll see here, I'm gonna play hard flats and this triangle receiver has a lot of room to be able to work on that left side of the field. It's another reason why I like to recommend running your bunch receiver or your three wide receivers to the short side, or I apologize, to the wide side of the field. So what that means is, as you can see here, the ball is on the right hash mark. There's two hash marks in the middle. The ball is on the right hash mark. And so for that reason, I'm running with the three wide receivers to the left side because there's more grass for me to be able to throw the ball into. But if the ball was on the left hash mark, then I would simply flip the play and basically run the same concept just running to the other side. So that's one little tip as far as how to leverage this. But again, what you're gonna notice is whether it's cover three, cover four, it doesn't really matter. This corner route is very underrated. Not very many people realize how good that corner route actually is. And what I'm gonna to do to share this with you is I'm actually gonna jump over into a cover three Mabel style of coverage for you. And I just want you to kind of watch how good this corner route is. Um, now this corner route might get taken care of due to the fact that we did put zone drops out on our field, but I do think we're gonna have a pretty good opportunity. So again, you see here, I can simply low ball that corner route because a lot of times when people play Mabel coverage, especially against bunch tight end, they're going to want to leave um, some help over on that right hand side of the field because they don't want to get um, destroyed by the tight end. So due to that reason, I'm going to have a lot more space as well. Another thing is, again, this corner route just runs and runs and runs and runs. So as you can see right here, I can pass lead it over the top of those, uh, of those purple zones, even when they're at 25 yards, because I have so much room because of my strategy here. So you see here, I can smart route this route and make it go a little bit shorter if I want to. Uh, maybe I'm in a situation where uh, maybe maybe I'm in a situation where I want to throw it more like underneath it, um, underneath that 25 yard zone. So you'll see right here, if I just wait, 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 he gets over the top on that sideline. It's a very nice little read and not very many people uh, really take advantage of that read. Now, as far as man coverage goes, one of the main reasons why you want to be putting your running back on an in route and also the triangle receiver should be your best receiver on your team. You see that if he has a route tech ability or slot-o-matic or something like that, 
he's going to be able to have a lot of success. But another thing that you can do as far as beating man-to-man -man coverage, and I think one of the most underrated man-beating routes this year, is a quick little in route to the running back. It doesn't beat man coverage all the time, but most of the time you are going to be able to rack catch this upfield really, really quickly. You see there it gets that instant separation, and then I can scamper up forward for about five to ten yards depending on, you know, obviously how the defense plays it, you know, do they have the right personnel? All of those things are factors, but in a worst case scenario, it's a nice little check down. And a lot of times you see that's more of what I can get. I can get about 10 to 15 yards of as, as a, because of the rat catchability of this. The other thing that I want to hit on is let's say that they're kind of falling asleep a little bit on that left side, or I apologize, on the right side of the field. This corner route is no joke. This corner route is really, really good to the tight end. Again, not enough people are running this corner route. It is super, super glitchy and super effective. And you are going to be able to get the ball out of your hands quick. That, that corner route has um, a very, very good ability, especially on the short side. When you're running that corner out to the short side of the field, a lot of times you can throw that in front of a 25-yard curl flat or a 25-yard flat zone, as you saw that I just did right there. Now, as far as man coverage goes, I will say that this specific type of corner route, the, um, the, the tight end doesn't always win. As you can see right there, he doesn't always win, but I'm able, again, to check down to my running back and get easy yardage. So the bunch tight end is one of those offenses that just gives you answers. You will have an answer for pretty much everything that the defense is going to do to you as long as you just make the right read. And so if you want to get my full gun bunch tight end offensive guide, I want to encourage you to pick it up. It is just 15 bucks, and I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. Um, you can just head down to the description, get that link to grab that bunch tight end guide. I think it is probably one of the most simple, but at the same time, most effective offenses that you could be running right now. Thanks for watching this video, and if you have any questions, be sure to text me. My cell phone number is 208-218-6900. Again, thanks for your time, and if you want to get that bunch tight in offensive guide, I'm going to be leaving a link to that in the description of the video.